European gas prices have rapidly fallen in price over the last few weeks, which has eased fear and anxiety on the continent for what was being considered a winter of discontent. With many households fearing that they were going to be put into complete darkness by the state in order to ration out energy that had been stockpiled, so nobody goes without, fortunately that seems like it's going to be avoided. Well, fingers crossed at least. But why has there been such a dramatic fall in price and why should we fear what China are about to do to gas prices? Let's take a look. So first and foremost, gas prices are reaching new lows at the moment. If we look at just the chart right here, we can see that within just the last few weeks, prices have literally plummeted. And the first reason why that's happening is quite literally because of bottlenecks in the European gas storage uh, facilities. For instance, on, in Spain at the moment, there are cargo ships literally filled with liquefied natural gas waiting on the shore of Spain to be unloaded and therefore to be reconverted into gas. The reason why they're waiting there and why they've been waiting there for quite a few days now is because European, the European continent are at almost full capacity of gas, which to be fair is actually pretty good news considering only a few weeks ago or at least a few months ago, countries, commentators, pundits alike were all saying that this would be the winter of discontent, the winter where people, families, old people would have to go without central heating to warm up their houses. And if you're not aware, that's a pretty big deal. Col uh, houses in, in Europe, at least in the United Kingdom, for instance, rely heavily on natural gas in order to uh, heat up homes through radiators. So without gas, there would be some trouble. Fortunately, that seems to be a thing of the past. Natural gas storage facilities are around 91% full. Although there is still some leeway there to become 100%, presumably that increase of 9% is going to take some time. Remember, the people there are running at full capacity and over the past five or six years, there has been pretty much a systematic effort across the European continent to remove gas facilities. And what we're seeing here is the result of that. The energy policy the European continent has foretaken over the last 10 years has put us in a position where we might actually see an excess supply of gas in the middle of what can only be described as an energy crisis. Try and make those two things make sense. But believe me, they actually do. You see, the bottlenecks will continue to send gas prices lower as the liquefied natural gas only has a short amount of time before it needs to be made into gas. Because let's face it, you know, it needs to be unloaded. So in which case, the, the companies that are providing this liquefied natural gas need to find somewhere for it to go. Someone needs to buy it. Creates an opportunity for anyone that wants to buy it, whether that be the UK or another foreign country, and poor opportunity to increase their reserves. I guess, unfortunately for the UK, they have such a few amount of storage facilities to even use that they probably can't even take advantage of this oversupply in the market. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please subscribe. We also have one other good bit of news, which is that the German weather service, DWD, have said that they, they are forecasting November to be one of the mildest Novembers in recent history, meaning that the demand for natural gas in the country is going to be significantly lower than most people feared, meaning that storage supplies won't be used as quickly. Once again, we have three things here going in Europe's favour by sheer luck. An oversupply of gas on the continent, a full supply of gas stored up thanks to Norway and America supplying gas, which I'll get to in just a second, and the fact that we might have a mild winter, which believe me, that will come as a big sigh of relief from people across the country. But that's where all the good news stops. Unfortunately for us, China are telling their domestic uh, energy supplies to stop selling surplus gas and oil to Europe as they prepare themselves to stockpile energy for the future. Now what this means is one, we as a continent are losing one place to import energy from as we see the Nord Stream pipelines become more and more redundant over time. Now China are doing this because they themselves need to put themselves first and that is just what they do. They do a better job of that, on that than we do uh, as a as a country and as just a western part of the world. Why this is important though is that not only will they be stockpiling their energy, they're going to be importing energy to stockpile, meaning that they will be competing with the EU, the European Union and the United Kingdom for gas and oil from the likes of Norway and America. This will just inevitably bid up prices 
Therefore, all the price reduction we're seeing at the moment might begin to be reversed as prices go way back up. Now, this is something that we'll have to monitor over time. And on the final note, the UK has actually asked its own households to reduce their own energy consumption in order to prevent a blackout. The national grid has warned that there isn't enough energy to actually provide all of the energy use in a typical winter. And therefore, they're trying to incentivize households to stop, stop consuming energy during peak hours. And in, re in return, they will be offering some cash back. Now this cashback works through the smart meters, meaning that the gas companies will be able to monitor how much gas and electricity you're using um, without going into your home and actually reading them on a, something that most people consider to be quite controversial. But we'll have to wait and see. Personally, I would say be a bit fearful about this uh, measure because you never know where this will lead to. Anyway, that's that. Things are getting a bit tough in Europe. Fortunately, it looks like it will be a mild winter. We got our fingers crossed that it remains that way. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.